He looks absolutely wild in person. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is sponsored by 1907. Check out 1907.com. Coupon code Russo. Coupon code Russo with Intelligent Elephant on the ASMR spritz of Intelligent Carbon. And don't forget to check out Young LA's drops. Follow the Instagram for the current updates. Today is a BS cloud grab of my favorite IFBB pro, Rolly Winkler. So I've seen Rolly Winkler compete multiple times now. I've seen him and we'll see if Andrew can find a little bit of him doing a backflip on stage at around 280 pounds. Like he looks absolutely wild in person in his contest condition. I've seen him walk off the Olympia stage back to the hotel backstage when I was with Enhanced. So it's been, you know, very crazy to see Roly downsized. Roly is very much downsized these days. So he has a picture next to Andrew Jack, and Andrew Jack is obviously on cycle, and Roly looks to be, you know, extremely downsized, nothing against him. And I'm going to show what Roly used to look like the side by side of like the one pic that went viral. He was like taking pictures and mog some dude at an expo with like this thing and his arm literally doesn't even look possible. This just proves that even the biggest guys are downsizing. Everyone is getting smarter these days. Larry wheels downsized. We have Rolly downsized. And I guess the point of my reaction is that these physiques are temporary looks. They're temporary looks. To think or to be a fan and expect a certain bodybuilder that you aspire, you follow, to maintain peak drug physique is unrealistic. You know, if you actually care and love them, you'll be with them when they downsize. You'll understand that they can't be redlining their body year after year after year after year after year without taking some sort of break. And even Roly in the downsized photo, I mean, he looks way less water retention on his face, way healthier looking in my opinion and still is a freaking beast no one's saying he's not a beast all i'm saying is people have this perception especially with the way instagram is that people are peaked year round no People aren't peaked year round at all. They put up this illusion that they're peaked year round. And I give Roly credit. Roly posted this on his main IG. No drama, right? Some guys will have entire collections of photos of them lean so they can post all year. And you think they're in extreme shape all year when they're in their off season or they're like Roly taking a break on TRT, HRT, and he will recreate the look again. The other thing I wanted to say is Roly can get back to that extreme look pretty quickly if Roly wanted to. Once you get there one time, the muscles don't forget and you can get back there way faster. I think that's another thing with these guys with muscles dysmorphia is like, they think like, oh, I'm this big. You know, I can't lose it. Like you can bounce back there faster if you do want to take a break, downsize for a little bit. You know, you have other stuff in life pop up and you can't be OCD about the two gallons of water, the 12 meals a day, the Rich Piana eight hour arm workout. Like bodybuilding is the most tedious samurai activity ever and if you need to take a step away you might as well drop the drugs down i've done it a ton of times right when my life wasn't going right i'm like i'm not gonna take all this stuff right now unless everything is on point so i can get the results out of risking my health for you know said individual cycle even roly top five forever in the olympia and has probably in my opinion the most i'll have andrew fine roly winkler's most muscular ever ever and he's downsized right now on trt taking a break getting his health back in check and whenever he wants to recreate that look he can but it's a temporary look don't expect these pros to live long if you want them to be redlined every single instagram story you see of them you have to give them a break it's like race cars you know you have to rebuild the car you have to take time do checks and balances get blood work done you got to see where you're at health wise image scanning at that level like there's tons of things he can do to harm 
mitigate and prolong his life that in my opinion his following should be behind and what turns out in the meta reality of black build is once he's downsized for a little bit all his numbers drop that fucks with his mentality or i don't think roly's mentality but like i'm just giving an example of a body dysmorphia individual whose entire income is based off their shredded red line physique they want to take a break or life gets in the way they see their business start to dip they're heavily ployed to go back into redlining their gear when in the old days right it mattered on what you look like on stage and then you were able to have real off seasons you were able to take a break from the drugs like kevin lavroni and come off i'm just saying it's really cool to see roly be transparent and he's not hiding into quadruple xl hoodies he's in dubai just chilling training on trt and he can get back to that physique whenever he pleases but guys we have to have understanding that everyone is a human everyone is mortal and you cannot redline drugs forever unless you want the pied piper to come knocking i will see you guys in my next video